imagine a world where robots can do everything a human can, from jobs to being companions. But what if in this quest for a robot-inclusive world, we end up creating robots that are just plain creepy? Or even worse, what if we try to make them relatable but miss the mark, and then we're left with something more unsettling than killer robots? Well, we're not sure what the future holds, but we do have some creepy real-life robots among us. So stay tuned as we uncover top 10 of them. Let's start with Osaka University's female stimulants at number 10. So believe it or not, a team at Osaka University decided to create robots that look very much like attractive women. They aim to have these robots serve as receptionists and news readers. They're like commodoroids and ontoroids with impeccable facial features and skin, almost like those wax figures you see at Madame Tussauds. But the creepy part about them is their jaw movements and the lack of expressive eyes, which just makes them strangely mindless. Next up, we have a humanoid named Sophia at number 9. So, Sophia was created by David Hansen from Hansen Robotics. You won't believe it, but she's actually modeled after Audrey Hepburn and Hansen's own wife. She's got an impressive face with lots of movements and realistic skin. But while she can make all sorts of facial expressions, there's something off about her transitions between expressions. They are too precise and unnatural. And her voice? Well, let's just say it lacks emotions and sounds a bit too perfect. At the 8th spot, we have Aquatic Robot Snakes. These cool robots were created by a Norwegian organization called Kongsberg Maritime and an oil and gas company called State Oil. Their purpose? Underwater observation and inspection. These robot snakes do not have fins or propellers like you'd expect. But they use something called thrusters to move around and explore tight spaces. Well, while they look a little creepy, they can handle intense water pressure and squeeze into all sorts of nooks and crannies. Up next is the Victorian era crawling baby at number 7. Now, can you believe it that back in 1871, an engineer Robert J. Clay Patent this nifty device. It was basically a doll that could actually move on its own. Now, as you can see, it wasn't very pleasant to look at or play with for little girls. Now, we have the bird training robots by Gomot Scientific on number 6. These robots are specifically designed for medical students to learn about childbirth. They come with a hefty price tag of $62,500, but they are so worth it. These robots monitor the mother's blood pressure, oxygen levels and can stimulate various birth scenarios like vaginal birth, breech birth and even C-section. They even have features like bleeding and vomiting to make the experience more realistic. They do look a bit intimidating due to their frozen horror expressions, but these robots are here to teach students a great deal about childbirth. Next is Efeto the baby robot at 5th spot. Well, this is another robot by the Osaka University, but it's quite unlike the previous robots we've seen. A Fato doesn't quite resemble a human, but it still gives off an unsettling vibe. One reason of it is the demo video, which shows the inner workings of a Fato, including its mobile arms and flexible spine. They even went as far as creating an artificial rib cage for it. When they finally put on the skin, the flesh color looks more like that of a lifeless body adding to its airy appearance. On number 4 on our list, we have the Spermandonial Medical Microbots. These are basically some super tiny robots that are so small that they can be injected in your bloodstream. They use harmless electromagnetic fields to move their tail-like structures, just like bacteria swimming around. These microbots have a special purpose. They can help with things like clearing blood clots or delivering medicine to a specific part of our bodies. So, what is it that makes them creepy? Well, they don't just act like bacteria, but they also have a design that is inspired by bacteria. So basically, they just look like microscopic tadpoles. Up next, at the third spot, we have Cassie, which is mainly a pair of legs designed by a group of students from Oregon State University. It was actually developed with a million dollar grant and is intended for various applications. It can be used for commercial delivery, search and rescue missions, and even in highly radioactive areas to handle nuclear waste. Its backward legs are useful for accessing places that wheeled robots can't reach. 
But what makes Cassie a bit creepy? Well, its central component resembles the head of the robot from the movie RoboCop, so it's not very visually appealing. Plus, the thigh area on its legs just looks somewhat strange, almost like odd growths. Even a news story from CNBC referred to Cassie as creepy. Next, we have the bomb robots at number 2. So, they may not look creepy, but they can be unsettling in certain situations. Like in 2016, the Dallas police faced an active shooter who had placed bombs in the parking garage. To neutralize the threat without risking more lives, they sent a bomb-diffusing robot with an explosive to kill the shooter. This decision was made to protect people and it actually worked. But it did raise some concerns about the potential use of robots to deliver bombs in the future. And finally, at the top spot, we have a robot that can have the face of your friend. So, it's called a Soshibot Mini and it was made by the British company called Engineered Arts. This robot can have the face of your friend or family member projected onto a mannequin head during online chats. It uses a camera to scan the caller's face and adjust the projected facial expressions. It's designed to create a more personal experience. And well, to some people, the idea of seeing a distorted version of someone you know on a robot's face can be quite creepy. Even the developer, Will Jackson, described it as spooky as hell. Despite its unsettling nature, the Sociobot Mini comes with a high price tag of $9,500. And with that, it's a wrap on our list of 10 real-life creepy robots. So, which one did you find the most unsettling of all? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our new content. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.